as we know that on the fixed wing aircraft, the pilot in command sits in the left seat, but most helicopter pilots in command sit in the right seat, but do they have to? It does depend on the type of helicopter. There are some advantages when it comes to the control of the aircraft. Also, there are historic reasons behind it. When Igor Sikorsky built the R-4, the world's first mass-produced helicopter, weight was a serious issue. The R-4 was intended as a trainer, but was so underpowered that Sikorsky was looking for any potential savings, so Sikorsky and his engineers came up with an idea of a single control panel that accessed and operated by both student and the instructor. The ideal spot to place the panel was in the middle between the two seats. Given the coordination and strength required to manipulate an R-4 cyclic for any length of time, the student always flew from the right. That's why the first generation of U.S. Army Air Forces, Coast Guard, and Navy pilots, along with those from Britain and its Commonwealth who learned on the R-4 or R-6 flew exclusively from the right. That all changed in 1946 with the arrival of Bell's Model 47, the first civilian certified helicopter, which featured dual collectives. From then on, dual collectives became standard for side-by-side -side seating, and a helicopter pilot could fly from either the left or right seat. Apart from historic reasons, there were some operational advantages too. Since most helicopters are more inherently unstable than most airplanes, a helicopter pilot rarely likes to let go of the cyclic stick with his or her right hand, even with trim, and particularly in hover operations where near-continuous control inputs are required. The cyclic controls the helicopter's attitude and the direction of movement, almost like a combined elevator and aileron for an airplane. Buttons, radios, instrument knobs, rotor brakes or clutches are usually located on the center console in a side-by-side -side crew arrangement. The cyclic is positioned so the pilot has to use his right hand to control it, which leaves the left hand to control the collective lever. So in flight, it is easier to let go of the collective lever to be able to push the button located in the center console. This is way easier to accomplish while sitting in the right seat, since if the pilot was in the left seat, he would have to reach across himself to get to the center console. However, there would be an advantage to sitting in the left seat while carrying loads underneath the helicopter. Indeed, this would allow the pilot to be able to see the load better than sitting in the right seat, since it is easier to control the collective while leaning to the left.